What's up YouTube and Instagram and wherever else you guys came from. Thank you for watching this video. Before I give you a sneak peek of this fish tank that I just picked up from Innovative Marine, uh, I want to give you a brief introduction to who I am. My name is Andrew. I've been reefing for seven years now. Reefing is definitely an obsession that is just not going to go away and I just know it. I've always jumped in and out of hobbies, but this one has just really stuck to me. If you're not following me on, Insta on Instagram, you should. You really should, so I'm going to leave it right here. You can't misspell it. It's Drew's Lagoon. Thank you for everybody's love and support over this past year I've created the account. The account just really took off, and I just want to say thank you. I love you guys. So let's get on with the fish tank. I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I need your guys' help. There's a couple of pieces of equipment that are missing, such as lighting. Obviously, some livestock is from the lagoon is going to be going to that tank. As far as everything goes, let's go inside and see what I got. I'm really excited to show you. So just a couple things I picked up. Um, the stand, I bought it in black. I thought it was really nice in person. It looked awesome. Uh, measures out 36 by 24 by 36. Went ahead and picked up the Hydrofill Titanium Automatic Water Top Off Controller as well as the pump. Uh, bought these two wavelengths. They work side by side. It's really cool. Peace and wave technology. Also bought a Hydrofill TI Reservoir. This is really cool. It's like a drawer you pull out. You could pour your uh, water into there and then it cascades in the bottom, like storage. It's really neat. Wow. Alright guys, so there you have it. Super modern looking reef tank. I love the 12 millimeter inch thickness on the glass. Got your nice uh, mesh screen top right here. It's nice and flush as you can see. Fits really nicely. You're not going to have any fish jumping to the back of that overflow as it goes all the way across. The feature I really like about this tank is the fact that this overflow style box actually goes all the way across. It's something you don't always see in a reef tank. Definitely really cool. So we already know what the dimensions are given on the website, but what it doesn't show you is how much room you have in display. So that's something I'm going to show you right now. Obviously from left to right, we're still looking at 35.4 inches. Let's see how much from front to back. 17 and a half inches now let's jump over here we get some more room 20 and a half inches so i'm definitely really excited to aquascape this tank i'm gonna pl i plan on probably doing maybe a mixed reef similar to the lagoon that i have upstairs so one very important tip for you guys when you're setting up these aps stands avoid doing them on carpet you want to do it on a flat surface so that we keep everything nice and square uh, another thing i want to show you guys was the technology that created on these stands no nuts and bolts just lock it in place one little twist and it's locked just like that very cool technology so let's get on to the time lapse i'll let you know how long it takes for me to set this up <laughs> right from the get-go of setting up this stand i ended up skipping one part of the instructions without realizing it um ended up delaying it maybe about 10 minutes or so so definitely pay attention to those instructions if I had to say one thing I really liked about this stand, it would be the fact that it has these glass inserts on the front and the sides. It adds a really nice finish to it. it looks really cool. What I very much dislike is the fact that it only comes in what looks like a brown finish, like a wood finish, and black that you see here. I'm a big fan of white stands, so that's something I was looking out for, but hey, it ended up looking pretty cool in the end. So here we are about 30 minutes later. Uh, you can see the stand looks really awesome. Very cool. All right guys, so the stand is built and the tank is right where I want it to be. Isn't it amazing guys? It has such big volume. It just looks so huge in person. It's just such a nice tank and this glass is so thick I can't get over it. Uh, I want to discuss a little bit about the bean animal filtration system that they've come up with. It's a little bit different than the typical bean animal filtration system. So if you're able to take a look right here, this is actually going to be your primary drain. This one actually has a little elbow that goes all the way down to the bottom and what it does is it serves two purposes. First purpose would be to act as a check valve in case you know you have some water shutting off so that's a good feature and it also creates a siphon that goes all the way to the bottom so you don't have any detritus buildup because that's something that does happen when you have these overflow boxes it just sits down there so that's a really cool feature I like about this system now if we come on to the next one this is just going to be the return you can see a little elbow right there it comes with um, some silicone lining it looks like and then it goes down to uh, let's see a little bulkhead down there this is going to be our secondary e-drain and primary e-drain right here actually hold on one second okay so this is going to be the secondary and this is going to be the primary now if we go down to the bottom i'm going to show you my sump system basically i got the sump i've always dreamt of i'm so excited to show you this check it out 
Bam! It's a Marine Depot Special Editions Trigger System Sump. And one of my favorite parts of the sump is this corner right here. So this serves as basically an auto top off unit if you'd like. Or you have the option of putting you know, a line down there and having a refugium. That cone being there basically so you can have a sand bed. If you take a look right there, that line drops into that tube. That basically prevents all the sand from splashing around. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. Now that I have you down here, I'm just going to point out where that primary drain is on that bean animal filtration system that they've developed. It's going to be this first bulkhead uh, thread line right here. The second one's a little bit smaller to the right. It's actually going to be your return line. This is going to be your emergency e-drain and this is going to be the secondary e-drain. I'm actually planning on having this tee off and go into that water reservoir to serve as a refugium purpose, not for an auto top off because I already have one. So what I plan on doing is putting an auto top off in the room behind this tank. So I'm gonna drill a hole through there and then have the auto top off in the other room. And just to show you a little sneak peek right here, Robert from Marine Depot actually came over to my house and helped me set this up, see? <laughs> and guys, if I must say, I am super excited about having this tank for the simple reason of stability. That's gonna be something that is a big, big plus in comparison to having a nano system like my lagoon upstairs. I plan on doing some type of crazy looking aquascape, something very minimalistic at the same time, very complex, usually mostly Tonga, kind of similar to the lagoon I have upstairs, kind of almost the same in a way, just basically the negative space that you see in that tank, I'm trying to replicate in this tank. If you guys have any suggestions on maybe what you would do if you had this tank, let me know and let me know why or what kind of equipment you guys trust. All right guys, if you're still watching, I really appreciate it. You watched all the way through. I showed you some of my favorite specs and features on this fish tank along with the new sump I got from Marine Depot. Now all that's left is for you to like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean the lagoon upstairs and I will see you next time. Happy reefing, goodbye.